Welcome back to Sam's Garage, presented by NH Oil Undercoating. Sam and Doug Harris upgrade the brakes in the Alpha One GTO project. So today we're going to be doing probably the most important aspect of any build, and that's going to be the stopping power of your vehicle. We're going to be tripling the horsepower on this car, changing the weight bias on it. So as you can see, this is the front rotor. It's not even vented. Look at this rotor, Doug. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. You can see absolutely how it's vented, and it's also got these holes. They're not drilled all the way through. They just go part way through. One of the problems with when you totally drill all the way through here, when you're braking real hard, these can get cherry red, and then you can start getting stress cracks. I've actually had one of these explode on me when I was driving a race car. It makes it really difficult going into a turn when you have no brakes. Very dangerous. But look, they're also two inches larger in diameter. Four piston calipers we're gonna be installing. It's gonna give us a lot of braking power. Now anytime you guys are working on your vehicle, a lot of people may not know left and right depending on how often they work on cars. So a good idea to index left to right parts is to put a D for driver and a P for passenger. That way you always know which side of the vehicle those parts go on. Now we've already disassembled the brakes when we put the suspension on. Yep. All we gotta do now is mock up this because anytime you put an aftermarket brakes on, there may be some shimming involved. Let's go ahead and start marking All it right, up. I got new bearings coming. Let's, let's finalize let's this. Let's get going. So anytime you guys are putting big brakes on, there's gonna be some wheel fitment issues. In our case, this is an old school car. We have very expensive Dayton wire wheels and they're very close to the wheel wood caliper. What I did was I used three shims or washers behind the knockoff hub to make sure how much room I need for that wheel to clear that caliper. Then I'm gonna measure that, buy me an aluminum spacer and complete the job. And always remember to wipe off any grease or oil from the rotor using brake cleaner so that you don't contaminate your brake parts. All right, Doug, that looks pretty good. It's gonna stop well too. It took a little bit of mocking, but it fit really well at the end. Yeah, you know, once again, it's real important that you mock everything up because there was a lot of little adjustments we needed to make. So if you start out and you're hard bolting everything, you're putting it on, taking it off, just Put everything loose, you know, just kind of loosely put it up, mock it all up, and then once you're satisfied with it, then tighten her down. Even though it's going to the body shop, you gotta be able to have parking brakes and you gotta be able to stop the car in case they have to push it around a lot. Now tell them about the strap and why we have to use this. Yeah, one of the things with the strap, it's real important, you know, with, with this car right here, as we're going through it, we've got the motor out on it, we've got everything on the lift, we took the front end off, car became real tail heavy. And so it's, it's important that you strap it down. If you don't strap it down, you risk, as you lift it up, that back's heavy, you could accidentally bump it, it comes right off the lift, somebody could get hurt or even killed. Absolutely, and you know, we sat there and we rocked this on the lift before we took all the components off, the wheels, the brakes, the control arms, adds a lot of weight to the front, so when we took all that stuff off, we didn't even think about it being back heavy. Right. So that was close, take a strap, wrap it around one of the legs, find a point on the car, and strap it down holding it to the lift so you don't have any issues. Now what we're gonna do is go to the rear, install the rear brakes, after that the master cylinder, and then we can bleed it up. Oh yeah, now this, the, the whole setup looks great. The suspension on it, the brakes, uh, great job. Absolutely. 